<sighs> hey, good morning. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> yes, I love you. I love you. Hey, how you doing? Today, I advance my secret agenda of getting my kids to love the woods the same way that I do. Of all my siblings, my dad used to bring me into the woods with him on some of his adventures. And ever since we came back from Singapore, we have not spent a single day as a family in the trails, in the forest, anywhere. So today I wanna ease the kids into it a little bit more. No crazy drama, no climbing or descending any cliffs, just good old walking. My name is Simon. I'm a French Canadian expat living in beautiful- Hold on, wait, wait a second. You can't be using this intro anymore, dude. So how about a new one? Yeah? Cool. Where did I put that thing? Oh, there it is. My name is Simon. I'm a French Canadian adventurer, world traveler, and hardcore life enthusiast. I'm inviting you to tag along on this never ending quest to experience the good, the great, and the tastiest bits of life. Like I said, today is for the kids, and I cannot think of any better place than the Marais du Nord, which quite literally translates as the Northern Swamp. But don't let the name get to you. It is technically marshlands, in the sense that there is a ton of water retention in the soil around these parts. But simply put, it's a small waterway connecting two lakes together. The trails are nice and elevated, most of them are covered in packed gravel, and they're also short distance as well, which is exactly what those tiny legs need. Wouldn't you agree, Manny, from Cloudy with a Chance Meatballs? Mm -hmm. It's now early June and every goddamn leaf has sprouted. Everything is beautiful and nice, but still a whole lot of mosquitoes. The trick is to keep moving, which, what are you guys even looking at? There's no ducks here. Come on, daddy's getting eaten alive. Move it or lose it, people. And if you're wondering why is Joyce picking up Leo and I'm not, well, daddy's got a camera in one hand and the all important lunchbox in the other. Marriage is a burden that needs to be shared. So far, so good. The kids are digging this. The hardest thing so far is to learn to pace myself. I'm kind of walking too fast for these guys. They keep stopping to look at the rocks, the dragonflies. I mean, God damn it, girl. Go on now. Come on, move along. Yeah, that's more like it. Come on, little man. I mean, these trails ain't gonna hide themselves, right? Yeah, the kids are doing pretty good. Brother and sister getting along in the woods. That's cool. Maybe the forest has the same impact on them as it has on me. Don't worry, he's fine. Little boys are made out of rubber. And check out what Ariel has found. An old tree stump that got felled by a beaver. These guys are cool. I bet I can find some in the wild to show you this summer. Okay, time for the kitty break. Come on, loves. Help make daddy's lunchbox that much lighter. Man, I don't know what it is, but all the mosquitoes seems to be attracted to me and only me. So back to it, people. Come on, let's move. We're now entering the pine groves, which if you've never been in one, it smells amazing. And check out the body of water here. Just a minute ago, there was a couple of kayaks passing through. I'll have to come back and paddle board this place. Well, hello there. As far as woodland squirrel goes, this guy is bold. Dude, I cannot wait for these mosquitoes to die out in a week or so. The thing with mosquitoes is that they are super active on the second half of May, all the way to maybe the half of June. And then after that, it's what we call frappe à bord, which is essentially horse flies for about a month, which are taking away chunks of, of skin. They don't bite you, they just cut away a piece of you and then they fly off with it to eat it somewhere. Lots of king vampires, small flying cannibals. <coughs> hey, at least none of them give malaria or dengue. Positive and everything. And as we move deeper into the trails, the sign over here says that they do not manage the old dying trees. They simply let them fall where they may. And the mushrooms and insects and birds do the rest. 100% natural and let's face it here, much easier to maintain, right? <laughs> Little Leo's little legs won't carry him all the way through. Daddy has to step in, yo. Hang in there, Manny. 
What's that, girl? You got something to say? I found quartz in the forest here. Well, my my brother have that, and I found that one and that one here in the forest. It's the first time I see a thing. Can you smile? Yes. Oh, I don't think it's quartz. I think it's your teeth. No, it's not my teeth. Maybe you don't realize this, but the fact that a seven-year-old French-Canadian girl wants to speak in English on camera is a proud achievement indeed. I'm super proud of my daughter. Check this out. This is the handiwork of a Grand Pic, which is the biggest, baddest, and most awesome great woodpecker we have up in Canada. Uh-oh, somebody's having a bad day. Here, let me help out. And as the trail twists and turns and winds its way through the valley and the marshlands, we come upon the best parts of the Marais du Nord, which is the actual open marshes themselves. If you're really lucky, you could spot a moose here, which, despite their size and the occasional viral video, are pretty elusive creatures. I mean, your odds of spotting a pike are much higher, even though they are pretty hard to spot themselves. And as we climb the observation tower, I get the paddleboard urge again. I mean, look at these guys in the distance. Now I have no choice but to come back here. Next week, baby. One more break eating animal-shaped cookies, but my mind is fixed. I have a goal now. It is a beautiful, beautiful place, and I did not know you could paddle it. My only regret today is to not have brought the drone along. Oh well. Next week, baby. We walk a little further, a little bit longer, but pretty soon the little legs start to give out and it's time for the pitching and moaning. Sure sign that it's time to head back. But all in all, I think this was a pretty successful day. And there it is, a day spent in the forest with the kids. Actually, it's more like three hours. It wasn't a full day. But hey, literally, baby steps, right? The coolest thing about Marais Nord is that it is absolutely set up to be a family-friendly experience. Level ground, gravel everywhere, no mud, whole bunch of butterflies. It was a good time. Interesting to me though, I think I found a way to launch at Marais du Nord with a paddleboard, go all the way through the swamps, move into the Lac Saint-Charles, which is a decent sized elongated kind of lake. And at the southern end of the lake, this is where Rivière Saint-Charles takes its roots. So this got me thinking that there is probably some wild camping in my not too distant future. If the weather allows, though, uh, looking at the forecast, all thunderstorms at the end of next week. So we'll see. Until next week, I hope you're good. I hope everything's well. I hope lockdown is not kicking your ass too much. A little bit of a tangent here, but I just got my first vaccination shot. <music> Team Pfizer over here. It was a strange experience, man. Everyone and their mothers were smiling. Everyone was super upbeat and friendly. Felt like a strange medical Christmas or something. If you can, get your vaccine. Yeah, boy! Take care of yourselves. Much love. And I'll catch you down the trail. Or maybe the river. Come on. Bye now. See you next week. Did mom do okay? Uh, yeah. yeah. A bit. A bit?